It's an empty yellow notebook just chilling there, just waiting for my thoughts. I could, I could literally spend all Saturday morning just fucking uh, filling up that yellow notebook with shit. Give me fill that shit up. Yo, the sun is out, but it's still too cold. It's cold as fuck out there. Just imagine how cold that shit's gonna be at the river later. That shit's gonna be a wrap. It's gonna be cold as shit. So I could spend this Saturday filling that notebook up with fucking... I started writing some, some dialogue for some shit yesterday. So I don't know how to write a fucking sitcom in a different way than just fucking dialogue. I'm not gonna write. And then they walk into the room, blah, blah, blah. I'm just gonna write, this person says that, and then I say this, and this person says that. Oh great, something about someone parking. That's that God shit, and you God, you hear someone say some shit about parking and you gotta pay attention, you're just like, I have no idea. Like if you're custodian, you hear something about someone throwing up, you're just like, oh God, I'm gonna have to get up and do something, ain't I? <laughs> I don't know. I saw a car spot over here, but that shit, I don't, that shit, that, that, that shit, that don't got shit to do with me. <laughs> There's a sign on the, the booth that says, Night God, don't let anyone park there. I ain't the night God, so. I don't know who the fuck that is. That's the super the attendant on the building, as far as I feel. Employee of the month, I guess I won't be receiving that award this week. <clears throat> or this month. Saving it for January, that's what uh, Oh yeah, Saturday. I was going to talk about Saturdays and like uh, jerking off at work. Like this, not, not here. I want to jerk off in the security booth. But there's been times when I jerked off in the nine hour span, I masturbated like eight times in the day. And and that shit was like after, had to be start after 9.30, 9 o'clock. I don't think I just got straight to work at 8.30 and started jerking off. <laughs> I think that, like, I made sure my work was done. It wasn't just like, so the, 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 the time span narrows down probably from like eight, seven hours I jerked up like eight times in seven hours because the last hour of the day the first hour of the day I definitely wasn't jerking off I was fucking doing a book drop and shit <laughs> oh boy now I can't get my hat back off wait there we go but, oh, shit. yeah so the, the, the first hour and the last hour I definitely wasn't jerking off I had shit to do and that hour I got for lunch, I wasn't jerking off during during that. So, in the span of like six hours, I jerked off eight times. But I had inspiration because uh, outside the the uh, Sarah Lawrence, that's why. Right. So the fact that these girls are in Sarah Lawrence proves that they were that they were over eighteen. But the fact that uh, that they went to Sarah Lawrence means they were probably gay. So like basically. I was jerked off to gay girls all day <laughs> at work because there's a certain bathroom. If you open the window, you could see like down where they were, and they were like, like some like kind of puppy or kitten, puppy and kitten fucking uh, um, what's that shit called? Like giveaway, not giveaway, like a prize, you know, like dog adoption. And uh, they had you know like tables set up, set up and shit. And some of those bitches were hot, were hot, were hot. They, were, they were, probably were hot, but they were hot. And uh, they were probably gay, but I didn't give a fuck. So uh, all you had to do is some inside baseball, yeah. Just sit on the toilet, jerk off, have the window open up a little bit. Things you could talk about when you don't work anyways, at workplaces <laughs> anymore. And then you would just see, and they were at the age because they went to they were Sarah Lawrence girls, and it wasn't like their si little sisters were with them because these girls all look the same age. So yeah. That's what I used to do on Saturdays. And sometimes I'd have like uh, 
one Saturday I had a, a Spike Lee marathon in the staff room where I just got, like, there was always like Spike Lee tapes and I just watched them. There's a picture of it somewhere on Facebook. And I just like watched, watched them in the staff room, which kind of inappropriate. I said like Jungle Fever or something. I don't know if there's any sex scenes in uh, Jungle Fever or not, but uh, if there was, a young page might have walked in and seen uh, Spike Lee's ass. You know, I don't think Spike Lee's ever, like, in his movies. He might be, but I don't think he's showing his ass or fucking. <laughs> it's like me and my movies. I don't show my ass or fuck. I'm no Tommy Wiseau. That's it for now. My voice hurts from, uh, whatever's in this coffee. It's cold and it's finished by now. All right, that's it for now. Tales from Long Island City.